What's going on guys, your boy Amazing here, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we are here with the Blue Stacks emulator to show off Pokemon TCG Pocket. Now, this is a game guys that I've been playing on my own time a ton, and it's just a very, very fun kind of side gotcha, you know, to kind of just mess around with guys, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download it on your Blue Stacks emulator and for your PC so that, you know, if you're not able to go on your phone, you can still play the game and enjoy it on your PC. So if you guys do enjoy videos like this, man, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we are on the road to that 50k subs, guys. You know, we've been grinding with the Grand Cross anniversary and, you know, it's been insane, man. And, you know, we're getting sponsored videos like this. Shout out to Blue Stacks, And, uh, yeah, we're going to be going over Pokemon TCG Pocket here and how you guys will be able to download the game. Alrighty, guys. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is go to this website here. Now, this is going to be linked in the description so that you guys can actually download the game through my affiliate link. And so the website's going to look like this. It's going to say Pokemon. Pokemon TCG Pocket, you know, the play on PC with Blue Stacks or from our cloud, and you can click play Pokemon TCG Pocket on PC. So it's going to click and it's going to let you download the game. And then once you actually do download Blue Stacks 10, you're going to be able to actually access the game. Now, so what the menu is going to look like here, guys, for Blue Stacks 10. So it's going to show you, you know, uh, Blue Stacks by now.gg, and then it's going to go to your uh, app player where you go to my games, and you can just search up any game that you're interested in playing, guys. But Pokemon TCG Pocket is the one that we're covering in today's video and that you will get pre-installed when you do click the download from this this download link so that's obviously very very cool so yeah and then what you're going to do guys you're just going to click on the pokemon tcg pocket once you've searched it up here and actually downloaded it so just as an example here we can go to pokemon uh tcg pocket and if we actually do click on that guys you can say play from the app player and it'll send you to your actual blue stacks emulator itself where you're going to be able to play the game which is right here so i'll zoom out here so you guys can see the full app and kind of how it looks but now that i've fully installed pokemon tcg pocket guys let's hop into the game and i'm gonna show you guys some stuff that i've done on my account over the past like month of the game being out and yeah man this is a very fun game guys so let's hop into pokemon tcg pocket here before we actually hop into the game guys it's actually very important to you know kind of change your uh, graphic settings and just make sure that you have the best settings so that when you're running pocket tcg it's gonna run well so if you actually go to the settings here on the bottom right of your blue stacks launcher you're gonna make sure that you copy the settings that i got here guys so cpu allocation at high four cores you're gonna want to have enhanced at four gigabytes and then high performance on the performance mode with your frame rate at 60 frames per second you want to make sure that it's around that um because if you enable high frame rate sometimes it can be a little bit inconsistent so it make sure to keep it at that smooth uh 60 frames per second moving on to my display here guys i like to go with landscape and the 1920 by 1080 but you could feel free to run it on like pretty much anything else like if you're like a lower end pc maybe you could do like a smaller resolution um, yeah, and then I, I don't really touch any of this stuff right here moving on to graphics You want to make sure it's on OpenGL with the interface renderer on auto But if you are screen sharing in discord you set it to software and then the ASTC uh, uh, Textures beta you're gonna go with software decoding and then uh, yeah from there guys you're, you're pretty much good to go um, In terms of the uh, game settings You can also set it to uh, always full screen whenever you open up pocket TCG if you're trying to do that That is definitely available as well. So those are gonna be the settings guys. Let's move on now to the actual game and let's talk about why the game is so fun. All right, guys, so once you actually open up the game for Pokemon TCG Pocket, you're going to obviously be asked, you know, to, you know, make an account and all that. And then, yeah, you're going to hop into the game. And this is a card collector, guys. It's one of those, you know, uh, I guess it's, it is a gotcha game at the end of the day, right? It is a gotcha, but it's more of like a card gotcha, right? You're trying to just collect a bunch of cards on your account. And yeah, guys, I mean, I've been playing the game for a while. I'm level 24 right now. Um, I actually did buy a pack for this video because I, I did want to do a, uh, you know, kind of summon tier. To show showcase to you guys what the game's kind of like but uh yeah man i've been playing guys for about a month now man and my main deck well what we'll do is we'll do one match in pvp oh wait we have an event you know maybe i'll do that actually we have a venus or drop event perfect so let's actually do this event and then we'll also do some summons so let's hop into the event guys and i'll show you guys kind of how the gameplay works and uh whether or not you guys will enjoy the game or not so we have the ivysaur deck genetic apex so you know obviously you're gonna go through and choose from your decks you're obviously gonna get a recommended deck which my charge our deck is the one they recommend or we can go with you know maybe like star me mewtwo uh venus or whoever guys so i'm gonna rock my charizard deck for this since we do have the type advantage and we are gonna get a bunch of rewards from this event as well so let's hop in and uh yeah we can start it up so you can actually play the game on auto or you can play it manual guys and that's obviously like a cool thing you can do too and uh yeah there's just a bunch of ways to go about it but i like to personally play manual when i'm playing the game because it's very strategic right um it is a card 
card game. So, uh, yeah, it's very, very like, uh, bare bones though in terms of like, like, the, not, not the sense of strategy, but that it's more accessible for people getting into card games. That's what I like about this game a lot though. Um, because it's not like super, super in depth to the point where you're not going to be able to understand the game off the rip. Um, but yeah, guys, very, very straightforward to understand the game though, which is really good. All right, so opponent's turn. He's going to do his thing. He's going to place down his basic cards. And uh, yeah, guys, the, the kind of goal of the game is you're going to send out your cards. You're going to evolve your, your Pokemon. And you're going to have them, uh, when they're fully evolved, to actually just deal a ton of damage and take them out. Look, we got a Moltres EX right there uh, from my deck. So we can actually drop Moltres in there. Um, we can actually get a Professor's Research going in as well to draw two more cards. And so maybe we can get like, uh, you know, an X x speed so we can uh, retreat uh which we don't which is completely fine but what i am gonna do though just to be safe is we're gonna go with the uh yeah so i'm gonna give this to uh charmander and i'm actually gonna retreat him because it's gonna cost one so let's actually retreat we'll send out moltres and we'll have moltres funnel energy into my charmander so we can get that charizard ex that we got in our deck ready guys so let's draw another pokeball here and uh yeah we'll get another moltres too so yeah, this game is fun, man. Though I'm telling you guys, like, even if you don't like card games like that, I think this game is very accessible and very fun to just kind of mess around with, guys. Which I, which is the main reason why I've been playing it so much. And you know, we'll we'll talk about the card collecting, which is a big part of the game too. But I think the gameplay is also very, very cool too. I I, th I think I really do like that. All right, so Skiddo does 40 damage to me. He had the flipper uh, heads or coin, uh, heads or tails, I mean, right there to be able to do that. But uh, yeah, we're completely fine here, guys. And what we can actually do is use both our potions here to actually heal up all the damage that we just took from that Skiddo. So let's actually do that. So, you know, we'll heal up completely back to full HP. We healed the 40. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Inferno Dance. And what this actually does is it funnels energy into my bench fire Pokemon. And all I got to do is flip some coins. So yeah, we're going to, you know, don't show again for supporter cards. And we're actually just going to start funneling energy into my Charmander. So we can start, you know, ramping up our damage with him. So let's do this. Uh, we flip it, we get a heads, that's really good. We get heads again, and tails. So we get two energy right there. That is completely fine. So I'm gonna give both of those to Charmander, and we're just gonna start funneling energy into him there, guys, and then that's how we'll kind of win the fight, right? Um, so yeah, that's gonna, gonna be pretty cool. Um, we finally get Charmeleon. Look at that. Now what we can do is we can do this. We can X speed out of my Moltres, and now we're gonna send in Charmeleon, and we're just gonna start ramping up our damage here on him, man. So let's do that. Let's give an energy again to my Charmeleon, and now next turn, guys, we're gonna be able to show off Charizard right there, which is really, really cool. So there we go. We kill the Kakuna, and now whatever they send out next, they're dead to Charizard, man. This is this is really fun, guys. I I love the intuitive gameplay of this game, man. It, it is really dope and i've been playing it like on and off guys like a ton like you guys see my account like i've been playing for a minute man so it's not even like even though this is a sponsored video it's not necessarily that i you know i'm doing this just because it's sponsored i actually enjoy the game personally man which is which is good you know i i try to do sponsors that are you know things i enjoy and i i love pokemon pocket tcg and blue stocks being able to run it on my pc is great that means i can have access to the game and so, yeah, right here, guys, what we can do, this is just a flex, right? Let's do Giovanni. We get 10 extra damage. And my Charizard right here, as you can see, does 210 damage plus its weakness on Paris. So we're just going to completely one-shot this guy. Let's see Crimson Storm. Boom. And we do 230 damage. He is dead and we win the fight, guys. So there we go, man. That's just kind of, you know, a little bit of the gameplay. Let's actually move on to some summons now, guys. And the main uh, kind of attraction of this game. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna do some pack openings here on maybe some YouTube packs I I've been kind of trying to see like what cards I need still But I do want to get you know kind of the Mewtwo deck going so I still need some Gardevoirs Um, you know Venusaur is my main deck too, like my the grass deck that I run So obviously getting you know, like maybe the full art Venusaur would be really cool. Um, yeah so what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to open a pack. I do have some uh, Poke Gold here to be able to do it, but I'm telling you, you get a ton free to play and you're going to be able to pretty much open a pack guaranteed every 12 hours of you playing the game. And you don't have to have the, the app open when the timer is going. So, you know, just as an example here, though, guys, let's open a pack together and let's show you guys exactly what it's called, uh, what it's all about. So when we open the pack here, we're going to get a bunch of packs here to actually choose. And so what I'm going to do here, just to have some fun, we'll, we'll, we'll spin this and then I'll, uh, stop it once i see you know a card that i think i like a card pack i like so let's keep it going let's let's just keep it spinning let me let me do like a full spin here oh and yeah that's that another thing too guys you can fold the pack and you can just look at it so let's see and let's stop right here on this mewtwo pack 
let's open this up and let's see what we get so here we go oh i saw something right there i saw something right there actually so coughing we got a mug which is cool okay w i, I don't know if that's new for me but um yeah that's definitely good and then the last card is a arbok okay so what we got that was the special card right there was the muck the uh the silver border one that is really cool man so yeah guys this is kind of just how the game goes man you're just going to be summoning for your cards and then you're going to use those cards in uh pvp or in you know pve modes and uh yeah i i enjoy the game a ton man let's do let's just you know start spamming packs here guys you know we'll, we'll get through a few of them and then uh, we'll wrap up the video i don't want to obviously you know you know do too many here but guys this this game is super fun man all right let's open another pack let's see we gotta get something crazy right we gotta right yeah and also uh what i like to do too is you can like fold the packs to the side after you open it just to kind of see maybe if you got something all uh, right there i didn't get anything though unfortunately but oh we did get zubat though that's my first one um so that's obviously very very cool but uh yeah I mean that that's how most of your packs are gonna be guys um but uh hopefully we do get uh kind of lucky here though man yeah let, let's uh, i'll show you guys actually the rates um we'll go to the rates after we go through uh the next pack here but yeah i, I have a lot of the the pokemon already man on this account guys so uh here i'll show you guys the rates actually so overall the rates are pretty good um you'll think they're not good just based on this but uh this is this right here is a rare pack this means if you open the pack that means all your cards in that pack are something of super rare value so if we actually scroll down here guys and go to the mega rare stuff this is the stuff we're talking about we're talking about the crown cards the three star rarity cards the two star full arts and then we're talking the one star card so all of these cards are going to be able to be accessed if you get that rare pack but you can also still gain these packs at these percentage points right here so honestly overall the summoning system i think is good and you don't necessarily need these special versions of these cards to be able to use them you can get you know just like a standard venusaur ex at 0.3 percent and you can still use him instead of using you know the harder one to get which would be this full art one right here at 0.005 so yeah guys i mean i think overall the game is uh free to play friendly it's definitely accessible and there's a ton of different decks you can build guys uh i just personally like you know the the venusaur deck um but yeah i know there, there's just a ton that you can do man so all right we got another pack opening should we yeah we, we checked just in case guys we got nothing there um but that's completely fine let's do another one here and let's see what else we get so hopping back in we got another pack going but yeah guys overall man it, it's a uh, very very good game and you can play it on pc now with blue stacks this is awesome you know just being able to just have it on my blue stacks instead of just you know going on my phone sometimes sometimes i want to be on my pc you know doing things on the side right oh we got something special at the very end there let's see and what do we get cubone okay so that's a full art cubone so that's a one star right there guys so that obviously is very very cool i already have one copy of that cubone though um but that's still that's still really dope so yeah man we'll do one more multi for the video guys uh just to kind of give you guys an idea of what this kind of looks like but uh yeah man just a, a very fun game guys and now you guys are gonna be able to play it through blue stacks with my link in the description so that is very very dope man so let's do this pack right here let's open it up and let's see man do we got anything crazy no we don't man all right that's completely fine guys so there we are man um that is pretty much pokemon pocket tcg on uh, blue stacks i hope you guys did enjoy man and uh, yeah guys feel free to add me i guess i'll, I'll uh, put up my friend code here uh, so yeah, this is my friend ID right here. If you do want to add me on Pocket TCG, I play every single day, guys. You know, we uh, Sinnoh, you know, Sinnoh main. We got all of these, and I got the uh, PvP event as well done. So yeah, if you guys play the game, you'll know. Like, that is, that is like, really crazy. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you to, again to uh, BlueStacks for sponsoring this video. And yeah, I mean, Pokemon Pocket TCG is super fun. And I uh, hope you guys, uh, you know, will be playing it with me.